Let's see how this unfolded the Group 2 Cape Verde Stakes. Set to go, and they're off. Katusha in time, fall in love, little bit slow into stride as White Moonlight came out running. Soft Whisper right there in second, just taking a hold and now drops to a length behind. Lyrical Poetry is at the outside, Wild Beauty punches through, Ascot Brass and then comes with the Moonlight and the All Blue. No more than four lengths off the leader. Katusha's in the purple and white, fall in love at her outside. Canella's in the orange and black. International Angels, Samadhi Rian team up to race nearer last than first and in time sees them all towards the corner of the track with 1,000 metres left to run. White Moonlight in front by just over one length. Soft Whisper is second. Ascot Brass as the rails run in third. Then comes Wild Beauty a little deep at the outside and with the Moonlight one off the fence comes down the side of the course five lengths adrift. Katusha then comes Lyrical Poetry at the outside. Samadhi Rians in the white and green. A good ten lengths off the leader. No shortage of pace. Canella's being squeezed along. International Angel, one of the back markers, and in time is at the rear as they swing for home. 600 metres left to run the Cape Verde. White Moonlight being in front from the start of a soft whisper. With the Moonlight, the all blue. Ascot Brass is in between horses. Then comes Wild Beauty. Further back to Lyrical Poetry. White Moonlight is still the leader, but with the Moonlight is coming and closing in hand over fist 150 left to run with the moonlight draws level with white moonlight and with the moonlight with momentum pokes her nose in front and with the moonlight wins white moonlight big run second Samadhi Rian was third Ascot Brass ran fourth International Angel then came Soft Whisper in time was further back then came Katusha next best was Fall in Love Canella then came Lyrical Poetry you flattened out late and Wild Beauty yeah, back after 167 days off the track, it is with the Moonlight who just gets there in a nice battle with White Moonlight who runs a big race in second, third home was Samedi Rian, but with the Moonlight, the daughter of Frankel, not seen since running second in the grade two at Saratoga wins the Cape Verde Stakes that five to six for William Buick and Charlie Appleby in the colours of Godolphin. Second White Moonlight at 17 to two third, Samedi Rian at 20 to one. And now we can hear from winning jockey William Buick. Charlie Appleby at the double, William Buick as well. Uh, William, I think, I think that's probably the nail on the head with her, isn't it? She's, uh, she's an international grade filly and she showed her class here. Yeah, look, she's a, she's a really good filly and, uh, you know, it's a nice, nice, nice place to start her back. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she's done very well. She's taken on, like I said earlier, she's taken on some race fit fillies. You know, that's at a very good standard. So, um, you know, she'll come on plenty for that experience again and, you know, first run of the year. So it was good. I know Charlie's going to think about the balance sheet. Of course you would um, with the, the big double there. I just want to mention the next race, the Singspiel, because you've got, well, you have the choice, Valiant Prince, who, who beat Osman Empire. But you're sticking with Osman Empire in the race? Yeah, look, there's, there's obviously, there wasn't much between in the first day. Um, Valen Prince has got the penalty, but 